I know it's my destiny to capture him. You know, Prince Zuko, destiny is a funny thing. You never know how things are going to work out, but if you keep an open mind and an open heart, I promise you will find your own destiny someday. Sometimes, whilst I'm at my desk, I look out the window, and then for a moment it feels like there is no passage of time. Everything is just still. There's no clock, it's just a moment captured in time, except the gentle sway of the wind and the setting of the sun, I wouldn't even notice the day go by. Destiny is a strange thing. You never really know by what means you'll end up where you want to be. Sometimes it just feels like I'm waiting for something to happen. Something grand, something big. Some deep change that will change the trajectory of my life. But this never really happens. It's just micro-adjustments, catalyzed by how time changes us all. Sometimes when I go back to visit my parents, and I do all the things that I used to do, mainly just chilling in my bedroom, although work has replaced study and revision, but broadly, the energy feels the same. The view from my window hasn't changed either. And sometimes, if I just lay there for a moment, I look up at the ceiling or just close my eyes on a nice day, it does almost feel like nothing has changed at all. Isn't it funny how day by day nothing changes, but when you look back, everything is different. Time is transformative. In those moments of my childhood, I never would have pictured I'd be where I am. I never would have guessed this is where I would have ended up. And that's an amazing thing, because it leaves way for the unknown to add some excitement to my future. Sure, there have been some long nights and even longer days, but ultimately there have been some great memories made. Great memories that were at one point just my daydreaming fancies. But with time, things come into fruition, and I never would have expected them to. There is a beauty to that but also something somber. I've come to realize that keeping an open heart and an open mind and approaching life with grace and compassion can make this stroll through time much more pleasant. We are often so caught up in our own affairs that we fail to see that the people and things around us are also on their own journey with their own destinies. So in this moment, in our journeys that we all share, let us be kind, let us be gracious and let time evolve us in the best of ways. But ultimately, these tides of time will take me where they will. But I have my bearings. I have a compass and I have a vision. And although I do not have the route mapped out, I will chronicle the tale and my surroundings along the way, and I'm hoping that it'll be a great experience. And I know that one day I'll return to these places, which were just passing moments in my life, and I'll recall the journey and the memories that were made there but I will be a different man for them. I see the passage of time as an adventure we all must take, an adventure that we are always taking. So I think we should endeavor to make it as adventurous as possible, make it a grand spectacle. Because, well, I don't know if I have anything better to do with my time. If you keep an open mind and an open heart, I promise you will find your own destiny someday.